What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we are in Friendship, Wisconsin at Terrace Homes and we're getting ready to check out another beautiful and rustic modular home. So let me turn you around. I'll tell you all about it. All right, so this is the Tyler. It's a cute little craftsman. This one is a three bedroom, two bath. It's approximately 1,524 square feet and it is absolutely beautiful. This one is built right here in a Friendship, Wisconsin by Terrace Homes, and I absolutely love it. You have the LP smart siding going around this entire home. You got the beautiful stone accent here on the bottom half of the home. Look at that little flower box up there. That is cute. Now this right here would be your garage area. It's a little stubbed out right now, but I'll get you there. I'll show it to you once we get inside. Now, if you do want any more information on this model, or Terrace Homes. I'll leave that information for you in the description, as well as over at timothyplivingston.com where you can search this floor plan, as well as all the floor plans that we've toured across the country, and you can see if they are built in your area. They have so many homes here, it's ridiculous. There's nine in total. This is actually the last one. Uh, this is number nine, and I have loved every single one of them. Coming around to the back over here, you do have a nice little porch area with a screened in porch. So that's nice, a nice little outdoor living space. This home, I walked inside, I like the, it's kind of like a log cabin-y type feel on the inside, but not really, you know what I mean? It's just got some rustic charm to it. Uh, that, and that screened in porch looks nice though. And then coming around to the side, uh, I think this is part of the master bedroom, I don't remember, but I love that red trim around all the windows. I think that looks really sharp. All right, let's go ahead and get up onto the porch. Got these really nice stone pedestals going all the way around or all the way down. Got the nice arches. I think that looks pretty cool. And then these red columns. Really nice looking. And then you got a little lantern right here next to the door. And then we'll go ahead and go inside. All right. So when you first come into this home, you are immediately greeted by this beautiful foyer. Go ahead and back you out a little bit so you can see it. You got a nice little archway right here, the front door. And then you do have a coat closet right here. Now, every one of these homes has had one closet, mostly the coat closet that's been locked. And that is due to the fact that they have a sound system in here and they keep all the stereo equipment in there. But just know that that is a coat closet. And then from there, you come into this really nice living room. Oh, the colors in here are so warm. And I think that's what gives it like that, that kind of rustic charm, you know what I mean? Now, as we're walking through the home, let me know where you're putting all the furniture and stuff. I know it's decorated currently, but you know, we all have our different tastes and stuff. So put down in the comments what you're keeping, what you're moving, where you're putting your TV. Uh, if you're wanting a fireplace, a lot of these homes, so many of these homes have had fireplaces. It's, I loved it. Uh, and a lot of them are like super rustic, like very charming looking. They got a couple lakefront homes, which is super nice. And then coming into the dining room area, great big table in here. Nice little light fixture hanging down over the top of the table. Got some outlets over here too. So if you wanted to put some uh, different tables or cabinetry over there, you could as well. And then you have a sliding glass door right behind the table that leads out onto this screened in back patio. So, I mean, what all could you imagine putting out here? You know what I mean? And then you can walk through this door right here, put your grill out there. That would be super cool. And then coming back inside, we'll go ahead and get into this kitchen. You got a nice L-shaped island right here with these great big pendant lights hanging down over the top of it. It's got a lip on this side and on this side, so you can put some uh, chairs or stools over here. And then coming around to the inside of the island, you do have a dishwasher as well as a Lazy Susan. And then some more cabinets right there. And then along the opposite wall, you do have your refrigerator, some nice uppers. You got the stainless sink looking out the back window onto the back porch so you can still kind of be involved in all the activities. And then in the middle, you've got this chalkboard pantry door. That's always nice. 
and of course the pantry right behind it. Then we've got more cabinets over here and drawers. Open up some of these. I feel like some of these homes have been a little lax as far as the cabinets and drawers. But you got the stove right here. Ooh, this one's got an upper and a lower. That's pretty schnazzy. And then you've got your built-in microwave up above that. And then just off of the kitchen, you got this uh, stairwell or what would be your stairwell down into your basement. It's got a fun little cutout over here too. So very nice. And then down the hall, we start working our way towards all of the secondary bedrooms. And the first thing that we come to, it's separated by a pocket door, is the utility room. So you got like a little cleaning closet right here. Put your broom and your mop and everything. You got a little counter space, washer dryer hookups, plenty of cabinets coming down here too. I love the color of the wood. I think that looks really sharp. And then all the way at the end of the laundry room, you've got a little bench over here with a fun little arch up above it, some hooks back behind there. Kick your shoes off. Uh, we'll go ahead and, so this is the garage door. Uh, obviously the garage is just, we're at a model home, so it's stepped out a little bit, but it would be a two car garage right here on the front of the house. And then on the opposite side of like the laundry hookups, you do have some more counter space in here. Cute little office area. And then across the hall, you come to your first full bathroom. You got the single vanity, great big counter space, vanity light, your toilet, and then your shower and tub combo. Now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a playlist of all of these homes. And uh, at some point, I'm gonna link it in the description, or you can just go check it out on uh, the channel page. And then go through them and tell me which one was your favorite because every one of these like crushed it. You know, I know we all have different styles and everything, but at the same time, every one of them was impeccably done. Like I've enjoyed Terrace Homes so much and this whole Wisconsin trip, goodness gracious. All of these homes have been spectacular. Now in between the two secondary bedrooms all the way at the end of the hall, you do have a linen closet and then we come to the second of the two secondary bedrooms both of these sit on the far end of the home this is the one that sits closer to the front of the house and you got bifold doors in here and then going back through the hallway you see that doorway right there is the master bedroom Plenty of space in here. Again, the colors are great. The trim is fantastic. And then into, I haven't been in here. I hope the light's on. It's not. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, quick fix. Nice size step in, walk in closet in here. I can get in here and do a little jig if I wanted to. And then you have an open doorway into the ensuite, beautiful countertops. You got the double vanity in here with your vanity lights, a little TV. I don't know if that's like something you can, I'm sure you could actually put that in here, but I don't know. Then you got a little linen closet in here as well. And then all the way at the back of the bathroom, you have a pocket door that separates the water closet you got your standalone shower got some little foot stools in there you got your shower head up here and then on the opposite side you've got a window and your toilet oh man wisconsin i guess this one wraps it up i'm off to go eat some cheese curds but let me know what you think about this home at down in the comments if you want any more information on this model or terrace homes I'll leave that information for you in the description, as well as over at timothyplivingston.com, where you can search this floor plan, as well as all the floor plans that we've toured across the country, and you can see if they are built in your area.
It starts at approximately $302,000. And of course, as we've toured it today, you're looking more at about $431,000. Now, of course, that price may or may not be the price that you pay if you decide to make this home yours. That price can fluctuate due to a whole wide variety of reasons. With all that being said, though, thank you so much for taking the time to tour with me today. My name is Timothy, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful face in the next one.